What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel and today we are checking out the Fury B Dark Max, the 220 millimeter FPV racing drone. This one comes in the PNP, the FR Sky, the Fly Sky versions and the DXMX version as well. Today what I got is the PNP version so let's go ahead and take a closer look at this bad boy. It is a unibody carbon fiber X-frame measuring in at 4 millimeter in thickness here. Check that out. It is a true X-frame. One single piece of carbon fiber. So very nice. There's two side plates measuring in at 2 millimeters. And a couple of top plates measuring in at 1 millimeters. And the shape is angled to hold an action cam and it is a 30 degree angle tilt. The motors are the 2205 2500 kV motors and it is a racer edition by DYS. And the props here are the 5152 Gem Fan Flash and they give you a set of black and they give you also a set of clear. The ESCs are located on the bottom of this double stack and they are the 4-in-1 BL Heli S 30 amp ESCs and they support 2S all the way up to 6S and they are the D-Shot Protocol ESCs. The flight controller is the F4 flight controller with integrated VTX. It has a 5.8 gigahertz 48 channel 25 milliwatt, 100 milliwatt, 200 milliwatt switchable VTX built in. And the name of the flight controller all in one is the Art Tower F4 Plus flight control system. And it is already pre flashed with Betaflight Omnibus F4 SD 3.2.0 firmware. And this also has an integrated buzzer, an integrated LED light support in which we have a single strip of LED light in the back of the quadcopter. And on the other side, there is a micro SD card slot in which it supports up to a 32 gigabyte micro SD card for your black box data logging needs. And we have three buttons right on the side, nicely exposed so easy to get to. Uh, the one way on the left is to change the power output of the VTX from 25, 100, and 200 milliwatts. So very, very nice. And the button in the middle is to change the frequency and the channels. A single press will change the channels. You got eight channels and long pressing it will change the frequency. And you got six frequency, a total of 48 channels. And the button all the way on the right is the boot loader button. And we are also given a stick antenna with a right angle and it is connected to the all-in-one flight controller with a IPEX connector. The camera on the Dark Max is a 135 degree field of view CCD camera and it has a 2.5 millimeter lens with onboard OSD. So you are able to change from PAL to NTSC and also adjust exposure and some of the other settings but you will have to undo the side plates and remove the top plate in order to get to the joystick that is on the back of the camera. The receiver that I have installed, because this is a PNP version, is the FR Sky XSR receiver in which I taped it with a black electric tape to match the quadcopter. Yeah very nice and I've also put a couple of zip ties to hold the dual antennas as well in black as well so going along with the theme of the dark max and you are provided with this little cable the receiver cable uh, this port right here is the S bus PPM port and the port on the left will be the DSM port and it is also provided here so all you got to do is solder on those three wires to the receiver that you will be using and you are good to go. So the only thing that I've done to this quadcopter out of the box was to install the receiver and put some tape, black tape, on the motor wires to hold them down and also on the battery cable which is a pretty long battery cable here. Uh, I put some electric tape around it as well and I zip tied it to the right hind leg so it is nice and tight and also like I said put some zip ties for the receiver wire as well. Now they do provide you with this 
Velcro strap, which was very easy to slide in underneath of the ESCs. So that was very nice. And they also provide you with this uh, battery non-slip pad as well. It is a stick-on. You just peel off the paper and stick it on on the bottom of the quadcopter. So here are some of the things that came with the quadcopter. There was a bag of goodies. You are given a wrench, uh, some extra screws. I'm not sure what those extra screws are for. And you are given two Velcro battery straps and you are given two sets of, like I said, Gem Fan Flash 5152 tri-bladed props in which I've already installed the black ones and they give you a set of clear ones which is very nice and you also get this little pamphlet which is very informative as well it gives you the diagram of the flight controller and where to go about uh, putting your receiver plug so that is very nice and they also show you how to go about connecting it to your remote control uh, the BNF FR Sky mode, uh, AFHDS and the AFHDS 2A and the DSM2 or the DSMX versions as well. And they go on to show you all about the VTX as well to uh, change the channels and how to change the uh, frequency as well as the power output and some of the specs of the camera as well. So we are just about ready to go, but here's a quick look at my beta flight settings. Okay, we are just about ready to go with our line of sight flight test for the very first time with the Dark Max, the 220 millimeter FPV racing quadcopter here. So let's go and check this baby out. I got it bound to my Tyrannus QX7S. So we are ready to go. So let's check it out. Reset my timer, arm it, and Wow, very quiet. Very, very nice. I'm in angle mode, of course, testing it out. Yeah, it's got lots of power. I'm using a 4S battery here. Wow. So far, it is looking very nice. It sounds real good too. Lots of power. Let's try a punch out here. Yeah, it's got tons of power. Wow. Wow. And I got it set on Betaflight default PIDs. The 3.2.0 PIDs. Awesome. Very nice flyer. Wow. And this comes in at right around $160 too. Wow. Okay, I'm going to go into acro mode here. Try my luck at acro mode. Yeah, very, very nice in acro mode. One. Okay, nice. My first flip. Very, very nice. Nice. Dirty. 
Very nice, very nice quad cup there. Wow. Can't believe this is only $160, guys. The Dark Max. I've heard a lot of positive reviews on this baby here. And yeah, I believe every single one of them. And I believe uh, Andy RC also flew this thing in 6S. So I don't even have a 5S battery. I've only got up to 4S battery, so I'm just going to be flying this baby in 4S, and it seems like it's got tons of power. All right, let's go ahead and land this baby. Three-minute timer is up, so let's go ahead and check out the FPV on this guy here. Wow. All right, here we go with our first FPV flight with the Fury B Dark Max. Let's go ahead and reset the timer arm it. Ooh, the camera angle is pretty high. Okay, taking off for the very first FPV flight. Okay, so far it's looking pretty good. The first flip with the Dark Max. Not bad at all. Second flip. Oh, pretty nice. There was a little bit of snow. Probably due to the stick antenna. Hey, so far so good. Oh yeah, it's got lots of power. Oh wow, almost no prop wash. Wow, better flight stock PIDs. There's a little bit of snow. So probably what I'm gonna do is switch out that stick antenna. Wow, pretty fast flips too. Very nice. Yeah, you can't go too far with this stick antenna, I don't think. It's going to start giving you some static here. Yep, it's giving me static here, some snow, so I'm not going to go too far. But that is about it. And the stick antenna is behind the quadcopter. So when I'm coming towards myself, One. unless you are full pitching it, you will get some disturbance. So a nice circular polarized type mushroom antenna, an Amway antenna might do the job a lot better. But so far, man, oh, there's a little bit of prop wash right there. So not bad at all, man. Very nice. Twenty. Yeah, uh, there's a little bit of prop Ten, wash. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Oh, two, so far so good. One. Very nice clock out there. I think I input some yaw on that one there. Oops. I think I input some roll in that one there. <laughs> okay, let me try that one more time. Oh yeah. Woo! Lots of lots of hang time as well. Very nice. Very, very nice. The Fury B Dark Max. Oh wow, another nice quadcopter for such a low price too. And I'm flying way over three minutes and it's still doing good.
There's a little bit of prop wash there. Not bad, four minutes already. And I still got flight time left, just about. We're getting down to the nitty, down to the 14. So let's go ahead and bring this baby in. Very nice quadcopter, very nice. And lots of flight time too. Oh, the camera angle is pretty high. Okay, let me just bring it down right around here. There we go. All right, that is my first flight with the Fury B Dark Max. Awesome quad. Went to Home Depot, got Mr. Long Arm here, so let's check it out. I can see it right up there on the top of that branch. Hopefully, this thing is long enough. Yeah, I think it's going to be long enough. Yeah, I think so. All right. Let's get it going on. Oh man, it might not be long enough. Holy shit, it's not long enough. Yep, it ain't long enough, man. It is about five feet short. Yep, it's about five feet short. The light is still on on that thing. Oh wow. Yep, I need a ladder. Okay, I got some more reinforcements. I brought the ladder from home. Hopefully this will give me a little bit of height. It's still right there and the light is still on. Oh my God. So there we go. Let's try this baby out. All right. Man, this thing is long. Ho, ho. 
Okay. Let me get it braced up right on that tree branch right there. And all I need is a few feet and I can get it. Okay, I think I'm well within the reach of the quad and I'm touching it almost. I just need to take one more step up. And it is beeping away and I'm hitting it but it is stubbornly stuck. It does not want to come home. And it's right there. Here we go. We got it. And it is still alive. And it is twitching. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. Let me go ahead and unplug this baby. And there you go. We got it back. It is still in one piece. Awesome. Hopefully all the props are still not bent. Awesome. The props are very nice. I don't have to replace the props. These beautiful black props. All right. There you go. The rescue mission is complete. Here's my Fury B Dark Max. Yes. Awesome. All right, just got done flying the Fury B Dark Max line of sight as well as FPV test flights. And of course the free flight where I got it stuck up in the tree. And if not for my aluminum extendable ladder and Mr. Long on the extendable stick, I would not have been able to get this baby down from that tree. And thankfully nothing is broken. Even the props are still intact and they are not even bent. So thank you, thank you. Somebody's looking out for me, kind of, anyways. So the first thing I'm going to do now is I'm gonna change out that VTX antenna. And I'm going to blame it on that VTX antenna. Uh, for giving me a little bit of snow right at the last minute for me to not see that tree and the tree uh, To blame as well because of all the leaves that it lost and now it's ghost branches right at the tips Anyways, I'm grateful that I got it back down and this camera. I'm not sure. I really like this camera uh, It doesn't have the quite uh, clarity as some of the other quadcopters so i'm probably going to end up changing out this camera as well and it'll give me a little bit more field of view as well so i can see where i'm going it's good but it could be better but this dark max at 160 somewhat dollars it is an awesome quadcopter i highly recommend you get one of these guys here it is almost like the uh b flight uh, quadcopter that I highly recommend it. I think that one is at $110 now. So that one is a steal as well. But this is a very, very nice quadcopter by Fury B. Ready to fly right out of the box. All I did was attach a receiver and that's just about it. So there you go, guys. That is my flight test and review of the Fury B Dark Max. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day and see you again next time.